friends, here's what I'm getting ready for dinner tonight. I'm doing a, a pork tenderloin in the crock pot, and I've shared about this several times, but it's one of our favorites. Um, and I like to play around with how I season it and marinate it, and I really think the trick to making it tender, as we know, pork tenderlo tenderloin's pretty lean, so it's pretty easy to overcook, which is really easy to do in the oven, okay? So that's why I like the crock pot. But I think the trick is marinating it um, and then also searing it in the skillet um, before you put it in the crock pot. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those things. So as far as marinating it, I'm going to turn the camera, the phone down so you can see the meat. Okay, so you can see it in the crock pot. And I just, so all I did, I trimmed some of the visible fat off. Obviously leave some of it on, but I like to trim a little bit off. And then you want to take your rings off for this. But I seasoned it with... Mrs. Dash, salt-free Fiesta lime seasoning, Himalayan sea salt, because I like to control the amount of salt, and then I also have just key lime juice, okay? Now, if you have a lime, that's fine. I just didn't have any. And then, so I seasoned it, and what you do, though, is you can see, like, you want to really, like, rub it into the meat. That way, when you sear it later in your skillet, it's not going to come off. I mean, some of it will, but... Um, Okay, so you rub it in, and then you just want to turn it over and, and do the same thing on the other side, okay? And then, from there, just put it in, just cover it with the lid, or you can even put it in a plastic baggie, either way, and put it in your fridge. Let it marinate. Um, I'm doing it later. This is like 10 o'clock in the morning, so usually I like to let it marinate four or five hours, so you can, if you can get it done earlier in the day, that's great. But two hours should be plenty of time, okay? And then um, and then watch below for how to sear it, okay? I'll talk to y'all soon. Okay, so it's later in the day, and it's been marinating for two hours. So I'm going to show you how I sear it. First of all, just get a big skillet, put some olive oil in it, turn it on high, get it really, really hot, okay? And you can test it by just, like, taking some water on your fingers and kind of it'll spatter in the, um, in the skillet, okay? Now, I'm going to turn the, the camera down. Okay, you want to turn your Venta hood on, otherwise you're going to set off your smoke alarm. So it's going to get loud for a second. Okay, now I have the pork tenderloin, and it should do like that when you, I mean, it should be that loud when you put it in there. Okay, so there we go. All right. Now what you're going to do is just let it sear on that side for about two minutes, okay, and then just flip it over. Two minutes on the other side and then go ahead and put it in your crock pot cover the pork pretty much the whole way with water okay um you can even add your own favorite salsa to this one because that chili lime it would be really good with that in there and then just cook it on low for four hours leave it alone and it's done dinner is done so you can serve this with pretty much anything you can shred it up and make tacos out of it um, it lasts a long way, so you'll have plenty for leftovers. So, um, let me know if y'all have any comments, questions. Always feel free to share ideas with me, too. And, um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.